the world of coffee machines keeps growing and growing with IoT, which is where you can connect your coffee machine to the internet. Well, right here, I have the new Quick Mill Essence, which does exactly that. You can connect via Wi-Fi to your Essence coffee machine, opening up a whole range of features and controls. So if you're not familiar with the Quick Mill range of coffee machines coming out of Italy, let me give you a bit of history. They started in 1945 with coffee grinders and now have been branching into coffee machines for many years. They get the greatest parts, put that Italian styling in, and make sure they put beautiful packages like this Essence together with some custom mods at really great pricing that allows you to get a whole range of either entry-level coffee machines or the high-end tech so you can enjoy great espresso at home. So let's give you a quick rundown of the specs, then we're gonna make a coffee. Firstly, it's a dual boiler coffee machine. You've got a 75 mil water boiler, which you can control digitally for your front brewing. So that's great if you've got a darker roast or a lighter roast and allowing to change those temperatures. Your rear boiler is two liters. So if you think half of that is for hot water, that's gonna come out your steam tap, and the other half is there to give you really nice, solid, dry steam. Both these steam taps have the cool touch wands, and they're a flick lever option. So it's an all on or all off scenario. So it gives you the ability to have a couple of tips as well. You can change those if you need to. So if you find the pressure's a bit much, you can just pop in the different tip. You've got your standard E61 group head, which is very well known across all the Italian range machines. The rotary pump allows you to have it plumbed in, or you can use the three liter water tank that is coming out of the right hand side of the machine. Now, some people think that can be a bit of a challenge if you've got a grinder on the right hand side. Well, what you can do is simply remove the whole cup tray, very easy with your cups. It's a super solid tray and the cup rail allows you to do that and you could fill from the top. It's got the auto cut out as well, so if you do run out of water, it's not gonna wreck your machine. So when you're making coffee and you want some feedback or information from your coffee machine, you've gotta have an easy way to reference that. Now with this machine, on this side, we've got an oversized gauge for your pump pressure and we've got our steam on the right hand side as well. So if we wanted to vary our pump pressure through the rotary pump, there's a valve underneath at the back that you could change if you wanted to, or if you wanted to ever add some sort of uh, gauge and um, flow controller into this machine, which you can, Quick Mill have one, you would be able to have a variance between pump pressure and actually what's coming out of the head. So you'd have all of that flexibility to be able to see what's happening when you're brewing. The Essence is finished beautifully, where you've got this lovely matte black all the way around, and it's finished with some really nice uh, knobs and handles that are actually finished in the black, but also weighted. So they've got a nice solid weight on the back. They tend to not want to tip forward, which allows you to have a much more balanced experience when you're putting in a head. Some coffee machines tend to fall forward a bit, and it's a little bit clunky, so it's really nice to see a beautifully finished head. Another thing which is just standard on all the Quick Mill products is the stainless steel chassis, which we do love, and the oversized drip tray. This thing is an absolute beast. And if you are plumbing it in, you do have the ability to run a drain as well to handle all of that waste. So they're all, you know, sort of features that you see on other machines. But when we look a little bit closer, that IoT and connection through a, a digital app of some sort that you have, it's all via Wi-Fi. It is not a Bluetooth app. So that means it doesn't matter who you are or where you are, you can still connect to this machine as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network. And because it is Wi-Fi, if they're updating um, software in the back end, you don't have to keep your app up to date. So that's a little bit handy. Unfortunately, you can only have one device at any one time connected to this machine. So if you are you know, two users in a house, you would have to un uh, log out essentially before you can jump back in for the other person to make their changes if they needed to. But we all know there's one boss in the house that has control over the coffee machine. I bet you know who that is. So if you've got a keen eye, you might see that the machine has actually gone to sleep and the on and off button is starting to flash and the display down here has gone into sleep mode. So it's really easy to reactivate that. All you have to do is start to brew and it will wake back up again. Now that means that if you haven't used it for a while, it's gonna reduce the um, power that is going to the elements to keep the temperature um, stable. It'll actually drop a little bit and then just save you some power over time. Now that's all adjustable inside the app as well. 
On the LCD display that is inbuilt on the front of the machine, it's gonna tell you what temperature your front brew boiler is at and also your rear steam boiler. So you can see what's happening in real time if you didn't have your app. The other cool feature, if you didn't know what coffee time it was, it is on here. You've got a clock built in so you know when it's the right time to brew a coffee. Let us know if you think a clock is a good idea on a coffee machine. I mean, I've got a watch, I've got a phone, but now you've got one in your coffee machine. It's always the perfect time for a coffee. So let's take a look at the Wi-Fi connectivity. I guess you can call it an app, you know, for argument's sake. You've got your steam boiler on the first one and your coffee boiler. It's very easy to change those temperatures if you want to. We've got our state of the actual machine, so on or off, and it's gonna give us some identification around our water levels. You've got energy savings here as well. Now, if you weren't a person that was gonna be making frothy milk coffees, you can actually turn off the whole steam boiler. And that means that you won't have any power allocated to that side of the machine. It's a huge power saving and something that some people may not use. We can turn it back on and we can also have standby mode. So you can put that on or off very easily. All the temperatures here are shown in degrees Celsius. You can change that to Fahrenheit if you want to. So we can go into user mode here and it's gonna give us a lot of data. Now you can reset this anytime you like, but it gives you a partial counter. So that might be when you're doing a quick little flush of water in between your shots, your actual number of coffee shots and how many counters this machine has actually done since you've reset it. And you've also got a maintenance schedule here. So we've set that to a thousand cups and that's gonna then give you a prompt to make sure you clean your coffee machine in your front brew head. We've also got this really smart cleaning feature. When you activate this, it actually takes you through a series of prompts to make sure that you clean your machine properly. And those come up on the display and it takes you through the process to make sure that your machine stays nice and clean. To be able to change your front coffee boiler or your steam boiler, you do that in the user menu. And you can see here the easy adjustments of Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius, probe sensitivities, whether you want them to be more reactive or not, and your set point for steam and your set point for coffee. If you go to your plumbing, you just need to change it from water tank through to your pump option. Your next option is your clock settings, and that's gonna give you access to setting up the actual time, but how you run your eco mode as well. So three times per day, you could have this on, off, or on again, whichever way you wanna choose it, and you can run that through for your whole week as well. Then you've got your network settings, so you can access the machine through your local network, what extra goodies do you get in the box with the quick mill essence? With every quick mill machine, you do get a timber handled tamper, which is really nice. It's a straight 58 mil. You get your blind basket. You get a single handle with about a seven gram as well. And you get a standard Italian double basket. So they're about 14 or 16 grams there. And these handles do not allow you to have the triple basket. So you would have to get an upgrade um, to be able to fit a triple basket in here because this little taper does not allow the straight wall baskets to go in. So if you buy the essence from Artisti for a limited time, we will give you the matching naked handle like this with a 21 gram basket. In here you do get your four hole steam tip and a cleaning brush and you've got your drain hose and your water plumbing hose as well. But remember, you do need to have a filtration kit if you're gonna plumb this in and a pressure limiting valve so that the mains pressure doesn't wreck your coffee machine. And if you're thinking that you don't get a user manual with the machine, well, you get it in a card format. It's a little USB, plug it in and you'll get the user manual and guide for the Essence coffee machine. So that's everything that you get when you buy the Essence. Let's go brew a coffee. Again, we always need a hot dry handle before we pop in our coffee. I've got 19.5 grams of pre-ground coffee here that I just grabbed from an Anthem SP2 grinder over there. And I know the grind's gonna be pretty good. I'm just gonna do a little bit of leveling. I'm not gonna do all the extra stuff we normally would offer. And we're gonna use the tamper that comes with the kit. Nice and flat and firm. Maybe one extra little polish there, just to get it nice and clean. We're gonna pop this handle in. Now we've got the temperature here set at 93 degrees, which is great for our champion blend. We're gonna start a bit of pre-infusion and I'm gonna just turn it off for a second and then go back on again. While that's brewing, we're gonna purge the water out. That's a pretty great espresso straight up. You've got full nine bar pressure being applied to that coffee at the moment up here on the gauge. 
And I'm just gonna watch this shot because I don't have a set of scales, but I'm gonna look for when these start to wobble a little bit and go pale. And that's where we would be getting that over extraction. There we go, start to wobble a little bit and I'll turn it off. We got that in 27.2 seconds. Now that's pretty much bang on to a recipe because our standard recipe uses 22 and a half grams coffee in 32 seconds. Now we're down to 19.5 grams. It's gonna be a shorter time. I'll pop our espresso out the way. Give it a good purge. And we've got a nice matching black milk jug. So if you bought one of these machines, jump on our store and get a matching jug. Let's see how that steam is. Look at that. It's really good pressure straight up. This is the two hole. I can lower that down, get a nice hiss. There's plenty of vortex happening in that milk. It's actually really easy to control with that two tip. So if you're not comfortable with a high pressure machine, having a double tip option is quite handy. It takes a lot longer to be able to get your milk up to temperature, which means you've got far more control in how much steam uh, is going onto the surface of the milk and how much froth you're gonna get. There you go, so that's getting hot. You can hear the sound starting to change. It's getting a little bit deeper in its tone. I'll let that sit for a little bit. Always give it a wipe and a squirt to get the milk out. Rest your milk for a second. Give it a tap and a swirl. Look at that milk, that texture is pretty good. For first time we're on that uh, steam wand. We're gonna swirl our espresso and see what we can pour out here. There we go, not a bad brew. Nice little rosetta there with a bit of a heart on the top. So that was actually pretty nice to use. The steam was good. You've got your cool touch wand there, which is nice as well. Um, the brew lever was quite nice. And I must say that the pump is actually pretty quiet. They do have a little bit of technology that they're using to make sure that that rotary pump is a little bit quieter than other models. So all around, that's a really nice, beautiful experience. Um, the handle that is weighted does, does make it feel nice. It definitely has a feel of quality. So pretty impressed there. Um, how does the coffee taste? Well, let's give it a quick test. That's good, that's strong, it's got good body to it, but some nice subtle flavors coming through as well. So that 93 degree temperature is perfect, as I said earlier, for our Champion Blend. So overall, that's a fantastic package that Quick Mill have put together uh, when they've entered into the digital app and connectivity style uh, coffee machine market. Um, I'm sure we're gonna start to see some other colors perhaps coming through. I'd love to see that white and timber option perhaps and maybe an option with some black knobs or something like that. Um, if you've got any questions about these machines, please leave a comment down below. Happy to answer those. Uh, actually, in Australia, you've got 24 months warranty now with Quick Mill, which is amazing. So thanks, guys, for supporting your product longer in the marketplace. That is a big advantage over some other machines out there. And thanks very much for watching, everyone. I hope this review has helped you understand whether this Essence is the right machine for you. Um, please do like and subscribe or share this with someone who's looking at a a higher end a rotary style coffee machine, it might fit them perfectly. Anyway, thanks very much for watching everyone. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.